hello friends today in this tutorial once again we will be using the youtube dl library this time we will be printing out the meta information about the video such as title description so all such information that you see on the screen so basically whenever you visit youtube.com you want, want to watch your favorite video uh, so basically every video has a title and description so basically let me show a very basic example so let me take example of my video so basically you will see this is my video here and if you just see here this is the title which is appearing here which is the title of the video and uh, this is you can see if you click on the show more option this is a description all such information will, is very much useful in uh, search engine optimization purpose so we will be extracting all this information and printing it inside the browser using simple javascript and node.js and we will be using the library called as uh, youtube-dl so youtube-dl is a very famous library of youtube with the help of which you can uh, basically do anything with your youtube video you can uh, download the youtube thumbnail extract the meta uh, information as well you can read more about youtube-dl.org by going to this website it's a very awesome little, little library if you just type here youtube-dl you will get to know more about this library it's a very op free and open source library and it is made by a bunch of people and it also interacts with the 100,000 other video hosting website. It is not limited to YouTube. It is limit. It is uh, available for all the major players which are which comes to video hosting platforms. So it was uh, created in 2006. So it's, it's a 15 years ago, 15 year old library. So it it was uh, written in Python. Basically, the original author is this one. These are the programmers which developed this library. So we will be using this library guys to get the description of the video. It's very simple if you just see here four people are watching the stream. So if you are here for the very first time then please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well. So first of all guys I will show you the command which is responsible for printing out the description of a particular YouTube video. First of all guys you need to download this uh, YouTube.dl inside your computer. So simply you need to click the exe file so basically it will download the setup file after installing this library you simply need to uh, after this you need to go to your command line so it's a command line library so if you just type here youtube-dl if the command is successful then it will show you this one and after this you need to write uh, youtube-dl it supports various options if you go to its uh, official github repository you will find out that uh, if you just want to go to its github repository you will see all the documentation is given about this library that which options you can pass here so if you want to get the title of the youtube video or a description of the youtube video you can write specific commands out there so youtube dash dl and after that you need to write here dash write dash description and after that you need to put the url of the video whichever youtube video you need to get the description so simply I will paste it and enter and now you will see in the command line it will print out the description of the video. So one other option you need to pass here. Apart from this you need to write here dash dash skip download. So if you just write this command here you will see that it will print out the description of the video. You will see that basically it will write it inside a particular file so if you don't want to write it to a particular file then also there is an option which is if you want to just print it on the console so you can see that there is this option here which is get description so we don't need to write this file to a file so we just need to print it out so there is a command out there which is dash dash get dash description so if you enter it now basically it will print out the description full description of this video you will see that this is a description here visit you can see this is all the description of the video so this is matching here you will see that this is all the description of the video which is there which contains everything which is so we will try to print this description guys in the console or in the browser and also if you get want to get the title you can also get the title simply you need to replace it 
slash 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 get you need to replace here the title like this this is the title here you will see that so now guys uh, let's start building this application so for this i will create a new directory which is yt meta i will go into this directory so let me close this directory which is opening here so i will open this inside visual studio code text editor guys so right here we need to create a package.json file so we will just write npm init dash y so this will create a package.json file you will see it will contain the basic information about the project after this we need to install express and ejs ejs is a template engine so install these two dependencies and uh, it will hardly take some time so after installation you need to create the index.js file so right here we need to make the basic express application so we will simply say require express and uh, basically we will make a new express application and then we will say app.get and when we open the home page we need to render out index like this and we also need to set the view engine guys so view engine this time the view engine is ejs template engine so then we need to start this application guys so we will say that app dot listen we need to pass the port number and we will simply say that uh, app is listening on port 5000 so this is the application and now you need to create the views folder and inside this you need to create index.ejs so right here guys what we need to do is that we need to use some bootstrap so simply go to bootstrap cdn and simply download or include the css part of the bootstrap so this is the css part so after the title paste the css and right here we will have the container class so we will say youtube meta description title generator so right here guys we will have uh, a form get info and uh, the method will be simply post we will make a post request and we will have a input field which will have the url this should be required and we will give it a placeholder that enter youtube you youtube video url so after this guys we will also need to give it a label simple label that it will tell the user what we need to do is that so he will he will say that enter youtube video url so after this guys you need to put a simple button so when you press the button you will get your title and description so we will simply say that uh, button button danger button block So if you run now run run your application guys so you will see something like this so, so right here we need to make this request guys so we will include body parser we need to write two more lines for this extend it to false body parser dot json so write these two lines and now we can make a post request
so inside this post request guys we can uh, make we can uh, just uh, execute this command so we can simply include the execute module from uh, child process module which is a built-in module so right here we will execute a command which is a actual command which is executed on the command line so we here we will simply say youtube dash dl and uh, here we will say write sorry get description followed by the url which is uh, simply request or body dot url and here we will say skip download standard output standard error so here we will simply check for any sort of error we will console log it if no error take place then we will simply console log the standard output and we will render the template which is index and we will pass the description description will be equal to the description which is coming out so this will be equal to standard output so when we load the page for the very first time this description will be nothing so we can print out this description guys inside a text area so inside after this we can have a simple text area Uh, we can give it a class of form control and here guys what we need to do is that we need to just simply write the EGS syntax we will first of all see if description is there right here we will check if description exists in that case We will close this like this. We will print out the description which is there like this. That's it, guys. So now, if I run this application, you will see that if I write any sort of YouTube video URL, so basically, I provide the URL, click get info. So now you will see it will print out the description inside this text area. You will see that. This is all the description it is having. You can take an example of any video of your choice. Let's suppose I take this example. Copy link address and if I paste it. Click on get info. You will now see it will get this description which is this one. So you can get any description of any YouTube video using this method copy link address so in this you can see that guys so in this way you can get this so thanks so much guys for watching this video and if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well and i will be seeing you in the next video